Hello and welcome, Sir Roderick here. Today we are proud to announce the grand opening of the Purple Crown Apothecary. Things are going quite smashing so far. The foot and cart traffic we can handle, but we failed to anticipate the flood of online orders. We don't even have an order form. Creating one seems like a daunting task, so I've asked Harold himself to help with the trickier bits. Thanks, Roderick. Let's get started. I have here the bare bones of the Purple Crown Apothecary online order form, columns for date, customer ID, category, item, quantity, price, and a total. I want to make first drop downs, customer ID, one for category, and one for item that's dependent on the category chosen. Let's start with the easy one for customer ID. Put my cursor in the cell, go to my data tab on the ribbon, under data tools, data validation. I want to allow validation criteria from a list. My list is going to be the customers in my customer table over here. Put those in source. And let me get an input message. We'll put input for the title. And we'll put enter customer ID. And we'll put a stop. Error alert on here. Let's say halt. You shall not pass. Say OK. It says input customer ID. We click down and there's our list of customers. Let's just choose one to make sure it works. There we go. I'm going to do some same thing for category, but I want my category to be sorted alphabetically, automatically. And if any items are added to the cat, any categories are added, I want them to add dynamically and sort also. So I'm going to type equals sort unique this list. Close my parentheses, and now I have an alphabetical list. If I add something to the list, it should update. That's what I wanted. For my data validation, I'll go back over here to category, data, data validation. My sort, allow from list, my source is just gonna be this cell. I'll need to follow it with a hash mark because we're dealing with dynamic array formulas. I'll say OK. Now, under category, should have choices of bombs, herbs, and potions. If I add a category to the table, it should update everything, including my drop down alphabetically. Let me undo that. Now that we have our category, choose one, we need to do a next lookup for our item. Uh, we want this sortable and expandable with no duplicates. So we'll say equals sort and sort it. Unique. Make sure there are no dupes. In a table, it expands, but if they put a duplicate value in, it won't be listed. What do we want to look up? Look up value, C8. Look up array. The header's up here. Turn array. The whole table. We 
want to close our parentheses two, three, four times. And I'm going to add a ampersand quote, quote, that will remove any zeros if one column of items gets longer than the other. You won't see zeros in the list or the table. It should work. Say OK. It's good. We're on bombs. We got B bomb calumet field. We switch to herbs in vain, lavender, mugwort, potions, death, love, nine. Looks good. Now we just need to do our data validation. Data, data tools, data validation. We'll allow from a list. Use for our list is move this out of the way. This cell here, followed by the hashtag. Do it. Let me do an input and error message real quick to input item. I will say choose wisely, my friend. And an error alert. We'll do halt. You shall not pass exclamation point say okay okay potions death love nine luck sleeping trance in alphabetical order herbs same alms same if I add something to the bombs, just S. If I add it to my list of bombs, it's now my drop down list, sorted alphabetically, dynamic, only unique values, pendant drop down list. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna go over to Excel 365 and show you. One last thing that's only available in the online version. So here I am in Excel Online, Office 365. I want to show you one more thing only available online. These are now searchable if you start typing in the item box. See, Calament came up. Just select it. So, one more little trick. I hope Microsoft gets this to the desktop version as soon as possible. And that should do it for the hard parts of the order form. I'm going to hand it back over to Sir Roderick. Thanks, everyone. Well done. I think we can handle it from here. I'm going to ask Lady Elaine to add a quantity selector next. Will it be a scroll bar or a spin box? Watch the next in our series to find out. If you liked it, like it, subscribe and share. Until then, always at your service, Sir Roderick.